My name is Mark Brown and this is a Super Home 59 video covering the fitting of reflective foil behind radiators. Now this is the material new from the shop. It's actually surprisingly expensive, it's about £7 for a roll like that. But the foil we're going to use is just a bit shorter than the height of the radiator by about three or four inches. It doesn't matter, you don't actually have to make sure that you fit it from top to bottom of the radiator. It can be inside the shadow of the radiator. One reason for that is, is because you'll be looking down upon the radiator and if you don't want to see the foil in the back then you're going to, have to, you're going to fit it quite low anyways. So the first thing you need is the reflective foil. It's a couple of millimetres of white polystyrene, expanded polystyrene, to give it a level of insulation. And on the front, there's a reflective aluminium foil layer, and that will reflect the heat back into your room, and the insulation layer on the back will stop it from being absorbed into the wall. Now, I'm not going to remove the radiator from the wall, so what you will need is a long, pokey stick to allow you to press the foil up against the wall when you fit it. Next thing you need is wallpaper paste. So how are we going to do this? Now the radiator is long and narrow like this. In our house it's fitted to the wall with two vertical brackets like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the foil which is here into three sections one is going to go here, the second goes here, and the third will go here. So before I start cutting the foil, I'm going to measure the distance between the two brackets. And they're down the back here of the radiator. It only needs to be approximate, and for me, I'll line it up by eye, and I can see that that's about 110 centimetres. Now roll out your sheet of foil, put a couple of heavy weights, one at each end, take your tape measure, measure the distance, in my case 110 centimetres, take a straight edge and draw a reasonably accurate vertical line. It cuts very easily, as you can see. And it's this white surface here that will paste and apply to the wall. Next, you need to pour out the uh, adhesive mix into your jar and add water and stir. Just follow the instructions on the wallpaper paste packet. And very quickly, you will have a paste. If it seems too thick, just add more water. If it's not thick enough, then add more powder from the packet. Next, take a uh, wallpaper paste uh, brush, or any household painting brush will do. Pull out some of the paste and apply it evenly all over the back of the polystyrene. Spread it thinly. I'm going to go right up to the edges. And sometimes it's difficult to see where you have applied the paste, so do it near a bright light source and uh, get an oblique angle like that and you can see the shiny surface and the bits you've missed. Once you've got a good even coverage, you're ready to apply it to the wall. Now this is the tricky bit. This job will be admittedly a little bit fiddly, but thankfully the wallpaper paste itself is water soluble. If you get it smeared over anything you don't want it on, like a piece of the wall, and then just wipe it off with damp cloth. Right, put it fairly low so that it doesn't offend the eye line. Remember, you have to live with it if you don't like the look of the foil. Put it as far down as possible and then gently squeeze it in with your fingers. The wallpaper paste will grab the wall pretty quickly 
and won't dry instantly, allowing you the opportunity to uh, make sure it's all level. Now, the level you want really is the level to the, the top of the radiator. So once you're happy, get your long stick and push it against the wall. Important that the, uh, the stick you use is, is quite blunt and well worn. If you use a garden cane for this, make sure you don't rip the foil. So don't rush this, just gently remove the air bubbles by starting at one end and moving the stick along until all the bubbles are removed. It only now remains for me to measure the two end pieces, and actually quite simple. If I just put the tape measure up against the bracket, and I can see it's roughly 12 centimetres. It's a matter of taste as to how far from behind the radiator you wish for the foil to be visible. Um, we like ours to be fairly neat and tidy and hidden quite well in the shadow of the radiator. So we put ours quite low down and quite inside there. If you're happier with the look of it, you can make it slightly bigger. Cut the two end pieces, it's the same as before. Mark the 12 centimetres. Hold the end down, something heavy, and then use a straight edge to draw a line. And then cut along the line. Then you can use the first cut piece as a template for the second. And mark the distance, roughly speaking. Draw yourself a line. So now you have your two end pieces. They're quite narrow, quite thin. You can now take the wallpaper paste and apply it liberally to the back of these two thin pieces. And now we're ready to apply these to the wall. Let's do that. So here we are, right at the edge, one end of the radiator, and I'm going to apply that piece just in there so it lines up with the other piece that I applied earlier. Again, the key to this is really a neat job, vertical and horizontal, lining up so it doesn't look out of place. And then if there's enough space, you can get your fingers down here. And again, before you press it too hard to the wall, make sure you're happy with how it looks, make sure it's vertical and aligned. And once it is, you can start to use your blunt straight stick to gently press it into place. You don't have to press too hard. And there you go. Job, job done. And now apply the final piece to this end. Same procedure as before, slide it in from the end. Fiddle around a bit until you get it lined up with the first piece that you fitted. Horizontal, lined up, and vertical. And then run your fingers down. Check against the vertical of the radiator. You know, it doesn't have to be correct to the millimetre, but get it nice and neat looking. Grab your long stick and proceed to tamper it down. Lovely, job done. Now why are we doing this? We're doing this because what we want to do is reflect the heat into the room from a radiator. We don't want it to be absorbed into the wall behind because that's a lot of thermal mass. In fact, what we're doing here is making your heating system more responsive, it's quicker. It will radiate that radiation from the radiator into the room and not allow it to be absorbed into the wall.
Okay. When it's absorbed into the wall, it can eventually percolate its way out of the building. Um, you don't want that. You want your heating system to be responsive and your radiators to behave quickly to your needs. The quicker they behave, the quicker you can turn the thermostat down, the quicker you can turn the heating off. Okay. So it's about your comfort and making your home feel more comfortable. And there it is. Job done. Quite simple. Now you can come and visit Super Home 59 and look at all the radiators and how the foil has been applied to see how you think you'd like it in your home. You're welcome to come and kick the tyres here in High Wycombe and visit us. We're open to the public all year round. You just book in advance via the website that appears at the end of this section. And we look forward to seeing you. And until then, do remember, you too can conquer your house. Bye bye.